Hello, my lovelies. All right, so I had a whole plan about what I was going to talk about today, and I was ready, and I was going, and I was recording, and then my phone stopped, and I started over because that's what we do. We don't just give up, right? And then it fucking stopped again. Yes, a second time. So this happened at least another four times. Not kidding, you guys. Clearly, I wasn't doing something right with my phone and my new tripod and the cool little remote that I had. So I put the remote to the side. I changed the way I had it in my tripod and now I'm keeping the fingers crossed that it works this time and it doesn't shut off again because then that would be frustrating. Um, but it made me, I decided in all of those, <laughs> my stupid camera shutting itself off, that I was going to change what I was talking about because, and I'll come back to it, clearly today just wasn't the day for it. Um, and probably better now thinking it more through in my head. I was going to talk about being a mom. Uh, you guys, um, the pressure we put on ourselves as parents is it's tough and clearly that's one that I'm just not going to talk about today because um, I don't know if I know all the answers yet. I only know what I know so far and I only know the things that I'm working on to help him be stronger and um, help guide him on being the adult he wants to be because that's all we can do, right, is guide our kids and make sure that they have the right tools and the right resources that they need to be them. Um, but I can tell you a lot along the way, I was really, really hard on myself. Um, and don't get me wrong, being a mom has brought me the most amount of joy and happy and excitement and love and memories and there's no one person in my life I love my husband dearly and I love the rest of my family but there's no one else in my life that holds my heart like my boy does um because I think that that's just probably normal as being a parent at least I hope it is um but I also know that a lot of you will hear me when I say it's also caused me the most amount of second thinking myself um, of if I did everything right by him. And he's an amazing, young, responsible man. And I have still second guessed myself and given myself a lot of worry of how he is doing in life and where life will take him. So anyway, we'll come back to that one on a different day. Um, but in the meantime, you guys, I will tell you, just live your truth and do your best by our kids and don't be so hard on yourselves because all we can do is what we know and what we educate ourselves on to do the best that we can for them. So. Let's talk about something else and we'll come back to that one. And Bo, if you're watching this one, I love you so much and you're my whole heart as you know. So, um, okay. Morning, got started, got a lot done, like seriously going with my business stuff, hit it to the post office, came back and decided, yeah, I'm like totally digging, going for a run, taking a break from the office, sitting on my butt, and just popped on my running shoes, threw on my headphones, and went. And you guys, for those of you who know me or who have watched um, my last video, um, I'm just starting to change up my routine and starting to run again um, on cement. And I can tell you the jogging that I've been doing, it's been like jog for a minute and then brisk walk. Um, and the fact is, is it really has hit me, especially recently, the stories that we tell ourselves 
And of course I knew the stories that we tell ourselves, but for me, I reminded myself of the story that I told myself about that I couldn't run on cement and I can't run on cement because of my knees and I can't run on cement because of my hips and I can't, you're getting my point here, right? Yes. Not just for a couple years. You guys, I've been telling myself this since I was in elementary school, not even bullshitting with you. I remember being a kid and going home and my mom took me to the doctor and the freaking doctor wrote an excuse of why I didn't have to run the mile because of allergies and asthma. What shit is that? It only reinforced what I was already telling myself. So for the last many years, um, yeah, if you know how old I am, great. If you don't, then you don't need to know how long. Um, I have been telling myself that I'm not a runner outside because it's too hard on my body. Now, I have overcome cancer, for gosh sake. I have overcome obesity. Yeah. And this is a thing that I had still, even when I did jog outside, even during the intervals, I still was telling myself that. And today, you guys, I broke it like for real. I ran from my house longer distance than I have ever run before. No stopping in between, no brisk walking. I have not counted out how far I got before I stopped, but I can tell you it was so empowering. Um, just showing myself that that C-A-N-T word is no longer there. And it's not like the whole time I flipped my story and my story the whole time I was running was I am a runner and I am a strong runner and I am able to run on cement for as long as I want to. And you guys, it was one of the most empowering mornings of my life maybe. Yes, again, I've been working up towards it the last couple weeks, doing some intervals. Um, but it's, it's definitely a testament of two things. First, how it can impact us when we are negative to ourselves and we can't or shouldn't or all of those words to ourselves and our brain because your brain doesn't know the difference. Your brain's going to believe you because you're the one telling it. And when you finally do it and then you own it and you live it and you celebrate it, you just changed your story. So whatever it is, whatever, whatever the thing is that you've been disempowering about yourself or that you've been holding yourself back, change it. And even if it takes weeks and building up to and working towards, change it. Because I can tell you, I told myself for a long time I could only run on treadmill. Worse than that. Okay, you guys, catch me here. Worse than that, I told other people that I couldn't run on cement. Y yes, I told other people this story. It was shitty. And it was the wrong story to put in my head. Um... Whatever that thing is, whatever that story is, whatever you want to accomplish that you're telling yourself the opposite story, ask yourself, is this empowering me? Ask yourself, is this helping me towards my goals? Ask yourself, is this what I want? If you answer no, change it. Tell yourself a different story. Start telling yourself every single morning when you wake up, I am a runner. I am strong. I can run outside for as long as I want and nothing can stop me. Tell yourself that story over and over and over again until you don't have to even tell it anymore because it's in there. And that's it. You just rewired your brain. You just told yourself a whole different story and now your brain thinks, this is my story. And better when that other word comes in and starts 
knocking at the door again, this one is so freaking powerful that it's going to knock itself right out. But you got to be aware of it. And when you find yourself in that loop, you guys change it, redirect it, because you can. Um, and I can tell you the other side of it feels really good because for those of you who know me really well, um, which is the couple of you out there who actually subscribe to my channel, um, you know that this is something that I faced for a long time, getting on camera and just showing up as me. And when you do things like change your, I can't run and I'm not a cement runner outside, I'm a treadmill runner to, I fucking rock this and I am an outdoor runner and I can run in any environment, it makes other things so much easier. Bring yourself to this, you guys. Um, because the anxiety and the second guessing and the depression and the all the other stuff, it will be easier to fight that when you start fighting these little things. So find what it is and start flipping it around little by little, day by day, so that you can become the happy, enjoyable, joyful self that you deserve. Much love, friends. We'll talk to you again.